Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, uh, this, is, this is a progress report of uh, what we've been doing with the data that uh, you've given us. And red means high, you know, because red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So this uh, is the density of the points? Yes. With their well, weight? With their weights. With their weights, yes. So it's the likelihood that you would find a Gronio inside each of the cells. So it's actually, yeah, pro the probability, yes. The, these are really uh, proportional to probabilities in each one of these cells. So well, if you looked at a single so cell, it would be a very small number. Uh, I'm now going to talk, the, talk about the likelihood ratio of surfaces that we produced here. Mm. And we produced them based on piece, three pieces of information, litho, magnetic, and priority scarns. So let's go through this. Okay, go to the next one, please. So, here you can see, uh, uh, let's see, it's Camille and Richard that put that took the lithography information and for each region uh, gave it a, a, a ranking in terms of likelihood ratio for each each one of the um, shapes. So here, for example, for gold, uh, twenty here means that uh, Richard. Uh, it was you estimating this, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Estimating that it's 20 times more likely that there's gold there than not. So that, that's what the, the number means, mm -hmm. it's a likelihood ratio. And uh, so here it is gold, lead, and, and silver. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, 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 a cordillera. A cordillera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the only way from the west to the east to this cordillera is a pongo. So this is the question when you like we did with the with the lithologies, we said that the, the the one formation was 20 times as likely to have gold in it as not. How do we convert these individual basins into a likelihood ratio? So should we say that the blue areas are as likely as not? The green areas, their background, they're as likely as not. The orange areas are more likely than not. So how much more likely than not? I, I would go... Uh another step. So we know that uh, typically uh, you will get in an, in an epithermal package, you'll get arsenic, antimony, mercury, thallium, selenium, right? And silver all hanging together, right? And we have all those in the data set. So why don't we stack them? So you're thinking, so if we took the, let's say the the threshold category, the reds. Yeah. So where it's red in this element and that element and that element and that element, it gets a certain likelihood. But one of the things I was asked the other day um, about this, and um, there was a company that was working in uh, in an area where where Richard and I worked in in Argentina, and um, they had a data set of over twelve thousand samples. Um, stream sediment samples, and uh, they missed a screaming uh, high silver anomaly just because it was too much data. Average. And it turned out to be an 800, uh, 800 million uh, ounce silver deposit. It's the biggest silver deposit, an undeveloped silver deposit on the planet. Yeah, not the whole world. Not the sort of thing you want and, to miss. <laughs> and, well, the thing is, they didn't miss it. It was, it was as Keith said, it was sitting there as this beautiful anomaly, but it was small. Mm -hmm. yeah. Relative to all the bigger, lower anomalies, exactly. and they just <clears throat> thought, okay, well, this is going to be some it's silly little spike. And it was a silly little spike, but it was where the big deposit just popped to the surface. Yeah. So, so it, it got know, buried in the data. And I, I, one I, reason until, not to ignore. Yeah, you know, like exactly. I, I, the, the exploration geologist's <laughs> biggest nightmare is exactly that story. You walk away from something, you think you've done a good job, you walk away, you sign off on it. And Joe Bloggs <coughs> comes along and finds a massive or well, any sort of deposit. Yeah, right. It's embarrassing. So you yeah, guys, yes, we're always telling this story as you guys being our backup. That if we go and do something really stupid, you've got our backs. I hope so.